Thanks for coming down and hanging out in the basement with me today. What we've got is we've got a little CW80 Lionel transformer. And the reason I have this is my friend told me that he had one of these that did not work. And uh, when I was over there, it's like, hey, let me take a look at that. He goes, okay. So we plugged it in and no indicator light and no power out the back. So we're going to pop it open and see what we can find out. Now, granted, I'm sure there's some YouTube, other YouTube videos out there about it. This is just kind of my journey. I'm not going to really show you how to repair it. I mean, I'll tell you what I did. It's not really going to be so much a step-by-step, -step, I don't think, but I'll bring you along and let you see what you think. The first thing with this transformer to get into it is it's got these triangular uh, security bits on there, understandably so. But uh, this might not be the exact tool, but in my um, bit selection, I've got like a three pointed looks like a phillips head screw thing and believe it or not that seems to work so uh yeah that actually goes in there pretty good i also found a flat blade that'll fit in here too so we were gonna get in one way or another but uh let me move the camera and we'll open the top and we'll see what's inside okay we got everybody looking on here mickey and minnie and uh christmas trolley and whatnot so let's find out what's in here Big transformer, which is, of course, what we're looking for. And of course, everything's unplugged, so very safe. AC goes in, high voltage AC comes in this side, low voltage comes out this side. And on the underside here, 80 watt transformer Lionel. This is an older one. Um, you know, it's not like brand new this year or anything like that, but uh, he bought a train set for his son way back when, and this thing failed pretty early on. And then he ended up buying another train set for him that came with another transformer, a different, different set. But, so here's what we got in here. And I don't see anything super obvious. This is just some rosin and whatnot. This has been unplugged for quite a while, so I'm not too worried about it. I don't really see any capacitors in here. But we're going to pop this open. And um, I think our problem might be right in here if there's not something shorted out. Because this is, this is probably going to be a glass fuse, I'm guessing. But we'll cut it open and we will find out. These are just solder joints, I believe. But, uh, yeah. She's pretty basic. And I was kind of surprised they even had a fan. I didn't realize they had a fan. I've, I've never had one of these before. Okay, here is the circuit board. It has a uh, proprietary chip on there, the control chip, to control the voltage and probably the uh, whistle and whatnot. Okay, found the problem. I did a little looking online. I didn't look on YouTube, but I looked on the uh, Google and was brought to the O-Gage uh, Railroad Forum. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but that is a, a blowing spot right there. This is an 8 amp fuse. And when we connect both ends of these fuses very carefully, granted this is just low voltage stuff. Watch, keep an eye on the fan. It fires up. And it's probably going to work just fine. So we got some options. We could order a fuse from a electronic supply house. We could uh, solder in some other sort of fuse holder. Or we could install a circuit breaker. We got lots of options, so uh, we'll see how the owner of this wants to go. Of course, we got to test it to see if you know it's putting out track power. So let's see if Mickey and Minnie start moving. There we go. It is working. That's good news. Okay, here is my solution. This is an automotive style fuse holder. It's all insulated. And um, this is one I just had lying around, grabbed it off of something else. Uh, we got it wired in to where the original fuse was. It's a lot longer, but this way it allowed me to tuck it in here and not be smashing up against the fuse block over, or the transformer block. I'm gonna get it together, we'll hook it up the track, and we'll test it out. Okay, we've got the green LED light on here. I've got it hooked up to the track power, 
and I've got the Menard Santa Fe over there. I'm going to turn on the voltage maybe about halfway. We got the lights that just popped on. I'm going to fire this guy up. I don't want to go too high on the voltage. Okay. I think we're pretty low on the voltage here. There we go. I'm just going by uh, how bright the lights are in the cars, so we'll give her some juice. Yeah, she's working good. All right, we'll give her one lap of that, then we'll toss on the MTH. The air brake test was good, so let's get ready to move. Roger that. We are ready to roll. All right, that is working. All right, so we'll turn off the power here. Lights went off. I can hear the fan running in this guy, so that's going good. Let's try Protoson 1 on this sucker. We'll see how she works. All right. Okay, try direction here. This has a soft start on it for the uh, direction. Okay, I'll see if I got my wires connected correctly. We'll try the whistle. Good. Bell? Alright! It is working. Alright, let's hit the direction. Yeah, I'm not a real big fan of the soft start here, but hey, it is what it is. Alright, let's try activating station stop. I believe you hold the bell? I always forget. Hold the bell. Hit the direction. Oh, God, have a nice day. Very nice. All right, we'll hit the direction to go on to the next sequence. Baggage to the right. I prefer the more snap-on of power, but hey, you know, I understand why they did it this way. Seems to be working fine with the Protoson 1. Now departing from New York, all points south, on track 1, train number 11, the Bay Bay. One more time. Perfect. Yeah, so that's hauling four cars with two light bulbs each, so I think I at least three amps going through it. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, let's try some post war power. We gotta, we gotta, gotta play around with it. Alright, let's put on the recently repaired Alco FA. See how that handles it. Okay, so we got it locked into forward here. Yeah, this is kind of weird with that soft start it's got. Power just comes on real slow. Let's try the uh, horn. <laughs> Interesting. 
bell might go a little longer on this transformer for some reason. Okay, well, I'm gonna say it's working really good. Well, that actually wasn't too bad. I kind of figured it was a fuse, but it's good to test stuff around, and that's just kind of the way I do stuff. But let me know what you think of this repair. Um, the person that I'm repairing this for is actually probably going to be selling the starter set that it came with. So this would be a nice ad for somebody who's buying it that's got everything there. Um, if it were mine, I'd probably install maybe a resettable circuit breaker, maybe drill a hole in the case or something. That's how I would do it. But, you know, that would require ordering it. If I would have had one on hand, we might have done that. But then it would, wouldn't be quite original. But these are... Um, from what I read on the forums, if there's anything else that's wrong with these, they're like impossible to fix because uh, they have a, a custom cir uh, custom chip in there and whatnot. So if this one never ran hot, so that would be one thing to watch out for. But, you know, like I said, if you can get one for free and it's just a fuse, probably a good deal. But if you're going to pay for one, I don't think I would if it wasn't working or wasn't tested. So, again, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching. My name's Jeremy with Too Many Hobbies.